Hi guys, this is Vineet Pandey and uh, this is a special lecture for crash course, for online classes, for UGCNet, for UPC and everyone. The reason why I'm going for the special class is the present situation that is going on in Afghanistan. We know what is happening to Afghans. We know that uh, women, children, they are not safe in Afghanistan right now under the rule of Taliban. So this reminded me of something called Holocaust literature. Holocaust literature is the literature of the tortures, pain, killings, murder, suffering, separations. And can you imagine? <coughs> can you imagine this thing that 6 million, 6 million Jews were killed during the 1941 to 1945 by Nazi Germany under the rule of Hitler. Most of you must have seen that Hitler was very much against the Jews. Hitler has written Mein Kampf, also known as My Struggle, Mera Sangharsh. Hitler committed suicide at the M. He shot himself and his wife after taking lunch when he was sure that he will be, he will be caught by the opponent army. Hitler was no doubt one of the greatest uh, army leader also, but not a good man because a man against a man cannot be a good man. But from the military point of view, he was a great leader. He was the one who led Germany to fight back, to take revenge in World War II. Now, we talk about what exactly he did to the Jews. Jews were caught and taken to the concentration camps. The concentration camps were arranged to keep them in the boundaries, in the bars, in the prisons, in gas chambers, and then they would organize their plan killings. The killings were organized in a planned way. Sometimes their bodies were used to do experiments. The alive human body, living human body was used for the experiments. The women were raped, tortured, humiliated. Children, they were also sacrificed. But remember the point that it was not a massacre. It was the organized massacre. Every imprisoner, every uh, person who was in the prisoner of war, they were all given the numbers, tokens to be killed. And how some of these people who escaped from these prisons have written about their lifestyle. Who are the people who talked about the horror, the gothic thing of at that time? Who are the people who talk about the macabre which was caused by Hitler and his army? So we're going to talk about Holocaust literature. This is the literature of shock. This is the literature of trauma. So we're also going to apply the trauma theory in literature. So look at this board as we're going to talk about the Holocaust literature, Holocaust writers. I am going to pick the famous Holocaust writers. Most of you, if you don't know that, please note it down because I know that 99% net aspirants or their teachers or the coaching center teachers, they don't teach Holocaust. This is a very special topic. Holocaust is that moment where 6 million, 6 million means 60 lakhs, 60 lakhs Jews were killed. 60 lakh Jews were killed in concentration camps. So the writers who have talked about these things, here we have some writers. These are on your board as you can see. So I'll be uh, rubbing this thing so that it becomes easy for you. You can look at certain things clearly. Now, please. See the first writer that we have is Dennis Avery. Dennis Avery, the man who broke into Auschwitz. Auschwitz is the name of the place where concentration camps were there. The spelling is A U S C H W I T J. Auschwitz was the place where the concentration camps were there. He was the prisoner of war. He was a P O W. What is P O W? <coughs> prisoner of war. He has used his own experience. He talks about the horror, the fear, that kind of, you know, where you are under pressure that you will be killed. You are scared like hell. He talks about his real life stories then the most important and classic we have is any frank the diary by any frank is very very important and is taken as the first hand account this is n frank n frank's diary diary of a young girl is very important classic it's a classic so don't you ever forget never ever forget this thing that any frank's diary is a classical work of Holocaust literature, is a first-hand account of the tortures. I will also show you the cover page of the diary. Now, after this, we go for another writer. Please remember this. This writer here we have is Clara Kramer. 
the next item we have is but remember Celioplast daddy and Lady Lizarus has a direct connection with Nazi Germany and Holocaust literature this is very important point now we go to certain uh, slides for you that I have collected to give you a better idea and to make lecture more interesting we will be going for certain <coughs> slides now this is what you have to see this is the image of concentration camp friends I have told you the concentration camp was simply arranged to kill them in an order मतलब मारने के लिए भी एक system maintain किया था they were allotted tokens they were given roll numbers and they were given inhuman torture 40-50 people placed in a small cell dying hungry with limited food snatching food from each other they were given barbaric inhuman tortures look at these guys like can you imagine this guys this crowd so many of you can see these people you know see how they are asking for food look at this boy look at these guys the way they have been you know forced to kill them they thought to kill them is a religious task there is a chamber of horror in London Museum. It is said that one must have a heart of, um, you know, stone to visit through that chamber of horror. One of my students, she is in Oxford. She told me, sir, I have seen chamber of horror. It's scary. You cannot complete it. You can't complete that chamber of horror. These are the real images of Holocaust. They were tortured. Most of the images are censored. That's why the killing images are not available. Now we talk about some basic thing that you have to remember. This one, Jordan. Then we have any sexton. Any sexton is also an important writer. Any sexton. Remember the names. No need to read any work. They are the minor ones for this. Then we have Sylvia Plath. I already have talked about this thing. We also have Eli Wiesel. Again, a small writer, not very important because we don't have to do PhD in this particular subject this is only for the introduction so that you are better than others make sure you remember all these names then we go for the next one the next thing is this is n frank's cover page n frank's diary this was the original cover page and then here we have schindler's arc the booker of audio book make sure you remember that it was the best selling classic and after that we already have seen the images of course here we have Schindler's Ark, the Booker of Audio Book. Make sure you remember that it was the best selling classic. And after that, we already have seen the images of concentration camps. We have seen the images of horror. Look at these guys, the way they have been killed. Look at these human bodies, the way human bodies have been placed. Look at this. Can you imagine these things, these tortures? So, people, those who ran away, those who escaped, they are the people who have written stories. So, most of the Holocaust literature.